So me just being here in Africa. Kuba ndi muri Africa ubu ngubu has been a 30 year dream in my life. Byonyine byari inzozi zange z'imyaka 30. So when I was 8 years old, iye nari mfite imyaka 8. Missionaries from Africa came to my church. Aba missionaries bo muri Africa baje kwitorera nsengeraho. And was telling us about where they lived in Africa. Bari bari kutubwiraho babaye muri Africa. And I just had a huge passion to come to Africa. Numvishije ngize umuhate wo kuza muri Africa. So I just say to you Rwanda in Jesus name that it's your time. You have the baton. You are running hard. You are running strong. You are running passionately and you're not allowing the distractions of the world from social media, <laughs> from Facebook, Instagram, all those things that would pull us away from intimacy with Jesus. That we just break those off in Jesus name and that we will all run hard after him, loving him, enjoying him soaking God's word, spending time in his presence all day long. So we do just pray blessings on Rwanda in Jesus name. We just pray Father that you will move in power and might all across this nation. Lord that every believer here will rise up to share the good news of Jesus. And you have a beautiful country. <laughs> and it's very clean. <laughs> so we're so excited to be here. <coughs> My ministry is called Crazy About You Ministries. Crazy About You Ministries. Because in America if someone really really loves someone They say that they're crazy about them. So this is my first one in Rwanda. Iki nicyo cyambere nkoreye mu Rwanda. Thanks to the invitation by Nicodem. Aravuze ngo urakoze cyane Nicodem kubera utumire wampaye. And I am excited to be here. Kandi nishimiye kuba ndi hano uyu munsi. Thank you for having us. Murakoze cyane kuba mudufite uyu munsi. So the crusades giterane are going to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Kizaba kwa gatano kwa gatano no kucyumweru bwo no guherejo. 11th, 12th, 13th. 11:00 to 12:00 kugeza kuya 13:00. But in the mornings we're going to have training. Mugitondo tuzajya kutuba dufite amahugurwa. At Zion Temple. Kuri Zion Temple. And I'm going to teach people how to share Jesus. Nzaba ndi kwigisha abakozi b'Imana abayobozi batandukanye uburyo bavugamo utumwe bwiza bwa Yesu Kristo. It could be just offer to pray for someone. Bishobora kuba ari nko gusengera umuntu bamusengera bate. Or God highlights someone with his love. Cyangwa se ubuye Imana ishobora guhitamo umuntu bikiye mu rukundo rwayo. Or God might give you a word of knowledge or prophecy for someone. Cyangwa Imana ikaba yaguhubahanuzi bw'umuntu runaka. Or you can just be talking about what's happening in your life. Cyangwa se bikaba ari ukuvuga kubiri kuba ku buzima bwawe. And then once you start talking about Jesus. Hanyuma yubihisemo kuvuga kuri Yesu. Then you ask, well, what is your spiritual background? And then you get to tell them the good news about Jesus. And I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. <laughs> And we have uh, joined up with an amazing team from the US as well. So Marie Saruda. Marie Saruda. She has been doing children's crusades for several decades. Yamwe akora ibiterane by'abana ku donc imyaka myinshi, imyaka myinshi. And her daughter Faith is an amazing singer, worship leader. Hanyuma ukobwa we Faith no mu ramyi ukomeye cyane. And Lorraine Linehan is an amazing woman of God. No ndi witwa Maureen nawe no mukozi w'Imana. And Hadassa. Witwa Hadassa obose nabagore Also a wonderful woman of God. Obose nabagore beza b'Imana. So we have a lot of woman power. Aravuga ko Imana donc ihagurukije abagore bafite imbaraga muri iki gihe. I heard that you like women in Rwanda. Numvise ko mu Rwanda mukunda abagore. That's good. Ni byiza cyane ibyo ngibyo. Uh praise God. Imani habwe cyo. Well, I think women have an easier time 
touching to the heart of the father. Yeah, kandi ntekereza ko abagore biboroheye cyane gukora ku mutima waba papa cyangwa se wabagabo. And the love of the father. Hanyuma n'urukundo rwo rwo waba papa. And men as well do a good job that way. Eh hanyuma rero abagabo bakora uwo murimo neza muri ubwo buryo. But sometimes it takes a little longer. Ariko bo bibatwara umwanya munini. For men to discover how loved they are. Eh kugira ngo umugabo akunde biramo bimutwara umwanya. So in the mornings when we do the training. Mu gitondo rero tuzaba turi gukora amahugurwa. We'll also have some special training for children. Hanyuma tuzagira amahugurwa y'imwe ariko kubana. That Marie is going to do. Hanyuma evangelista cyangwa umukozi w'Imana Maria azaba ari gukora ibyo. It's going to be exciting. Bizaba ari bidasanzwe. And then for the crusades. Kugiterane from 2 o'clock to 7 o'clock. Kuva saa 8 kugeza saa moya. In Ruhuha. Muri Ruhuha. We're going to have wonderful singing. Tuzaba dufite abaririmbyo bazaturirimbira neza. By Theo. Theo bose babireba muramuzi. You know his last name, right? <laughs> yes, Theo bose babireba. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and I've heard he's a very popular singer. No muririmbyi uzwi cyane. So we are excited to worship and dance with him. I'm still trying to get better at the African dance. <laughs> so you can all come and show me how. And we have a children's skit that Marie's going to do. And each day we have a testimony. That is very powerful. And one of the testimonies, the woman died and went to hell. And another testimony, somebody went to heaven. Another powerful testimony. By Emily. Emily. And what God has been doing in her life. With lots of marriage challenges. But how God can redeem. Amen. Amen. And then I'm going to share the the uh message on the Friday and Sunday. Nzabwiriza kuwa gatanu no ku no ku cyumweru. And Friday. Hanyuma kuwa gatanu. I'm talking about how God has written a book about you. I repeat again. God has written a book. Azaba ari kuvuga uburyo Imana yanditse igitabo cyawe ku buzima bwawe. And we have the choice to step into the pages of that book. Kandi dufita mahitamo yo kuba or we can ignore God's amazing plans and do our own thing. But doing God's plan is much more fun. Because <laughs> he has plans and purposes for us to prosper us and not to harm us. He wants to give us a hope and a future. And then on Sunday, my message is called We were created to party with Jesus. And I take it from a birthday party. Again? Like a birthday party. Starting with a birthday cake. And we become born again. When we become born again. And lots of different things about a party. That relate to our spiritual growth. And I have and I will have a pretend Jesus <laughs> and a pretend devil. <laughs> so lots of visuals. <laughs> lots of. Yeah. Visuals, visuals. 
um, things that people can see. Uh, okay, as I did, you can see. Yeah. And in the middle on, on Saturday, that's when you're going to hear two powerful testimonies. So we are so excited. And, hallelujah. We see thousands of lives transformed. By the love of Jesus. And we will see a lot of people get healed. Uh, eyesight, back pain, head pain. We see a lot of people get healed. Because Jesus already paid for our healing. When he paid for our salvation. The devil just likes to block our salvation and block our healing. With his lies, doubt, and unbelief. So we're going to break the lies of the enemy. And people are going to get set free. From every work of darkness. And the demons are going to get out. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and people are going to be set free. Uh, what? People will be set free. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God works so powerfully. And we're so excited. God is so, so good. So, me just being here in Africa has been a 30 year dream in my life. So, when I was eight years old, Missionaries from Africa came to my church and was telling us about where they lived in Africa. And I just had a huge passion to come to Africa and tell people about Jesus. And over the years, I kind of thought, excuse me, thought that that dream may not come to life. Okay, she's going to start. Okay, so what I see the Lord saying to Rwanda is that he is proud of you, Rwanda, and that he just wants to bless Rwanda, and uh, he also wants to call out the identity that he has put in each person and in him and not maybe the identity that society says but the identity that he has put inside of every single person and the gold that he has put inside of every single person and he wants to bless you and he wants to pour out his favor and he just loves every single person so very much and so I bless you all and all everyone in Rwanda and the Lord blesses you, and uh, you are all sons and daughters of the King. Amen, amen. So true. And I just see, i just getting a picture of like on a racetrack where you're running, and God is handing you the baton, and he's saying it's your time to run, it's your time to shine, it's your time to lead the nations with the gospel and the light and the power of Jesus Christ. And it all flows out of love and humility and an intimacy with the Father. So I just say to you, Rwanda, in Jesus' name, that it's your time. You have the baton. You are running hard. You are running strong. You are running passionately. And you're not allowing the distractions of the world from social media, <laughs> from Facebook, Instagram, all those things that would pull us away from intimacy with Jesus, that we just break those off in Jesus' name, and that we will all run hard after him, loving him, enjoying him, 
soaking God's word, spending time in his presence all day long. So we do just pray blessings on Rwanda in Jesus' name. We just pray, Father, that you will move in power and might all across this nation. Lord, that every believer here will rise up to share the good news of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you that you are moving in power, that you're moving in love. Lord, that lives are going to be transformed, that thousands of people are going to come to these crusades. They're going to find out that they do have a plan and a purpose that's been written about them, a good plan. And Lord, that you are going to bless them, walk with them, prosper them, give them wisdom, give them peace and grace in every challenge. Lord, you say that we will have trials on the earth, but that you have overcome the trials. So Father, we thank you for Rwanda. We thank you for each person in this country. I thank you that you know every hair that's on every head. That's how valuable each person is. So I thank you, God, that there will be revival in the land as never before, that in Rahuha, in Kigali, in every city across this nation, that fire will be stirred up and that new life, and Lord, that it will come from a simple intimacy with you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, that it's not complicated to walk with you. It's loving God and loving people. We thank you for your love in Jesus' precious name, your blessings upon this nation and blessings upon each person in the media as well. Lord, that they will do a powerful job of sharing the good news. Lord, I thank you that they are sharing the good news. Lord, media is such a powerful way to get the truth across to people that they can walk in your love. So bless them, give them the finances they need, give them the audiences that they need, give them the wisdom that they need, that their their audiences will grow and expand exponentially In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you all so much. I'm so delighted to be here.